hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to download gns3 and configure cisco iso images to gns3 and also i'm going to show you how to integrate solar putty with gns3 so without uh, further wasting any time let's get started so first uh, you need to open your browser so i'm gonna open my chrome browser and search for gns3 download so on this page you need to click on the first link gns3 software and here as you can see the download button of gns3 so let's click on it and it says create an account so I have already created my account and I will direct sign in so I will click on free download and here download okay so that is the same method if you want to download the gns3 for for this video demonstration i have already downloaded the gns3 so if i open my download folder and don't worry if you can download uh, the gns3 from here uh, i have gave the link uh, to download file of the gns3 so here's uh, my gns3 file i'm click on it and click on next and i agree click on next and next and click on next if you want to install the gns3 on your c portion so click on next and here click on next and i will click on no and click next and here I will click on finish so automatically my GNS3 application has been opened uh, let uh, close it these windows and here is the important setting you need to uh, do in the GNS3 so click on edit and click on preferences and here uh, click on the server and here you can see the local host so I will be uh, select the 127.0.0.1 and click on apply sometimes your local server is not working so you need to uh, bind them with these IP so I will click OK and now it connecting to this server and here uh, after uh, the setting uh, you need to uh, close the GNS3 so I again I will open my GNS3 and it says please create a project so wait a minute it will from a window so as you can see uh, you need to rename it test2 and click ok uh, we need to add the cisco uh, ios router so if i want to click on the browse router there is no uh, routers so I need to manually insert here the routers so for that uh, I will open my browser and click here GNS3 appliances and click enter here click on the first link 
and here there's a lot of appliances you can download so I have already downloaded the uh, this Cisco 7200 so here as you can see I have downloaded this so if you can download uh, from here I will also give the link uh, to download this Cisco router from here I need to open my GNS3 click on edit and click on preferences and here I will click on iOS routers I will click on new and click on browse select the Cisco images so I will click on next click on next and click on next so here is the important part you need to add ports to your Cisco router so I will add PA40 plus port and click on next click on finish and click on apply and click ok so now if I click on uh, this router icon here you can see my router has been successfully added so now if I uh, drag it here and another router R2 and want to connect these two I will select a link and click on serial 10 and click on serial 10 so now as you can see my router has been connected with each other and uh, if I click on these icon start and click on yes uh, my router has been power off you can see I can find my mouse uh, arrow so uh, you need to click escape and now click double click on R1 so as you can see uh, my router has been powering off and uh, if I go to configurational mode and click on host name router1 so yes it has been working so now mm, we need to add the solar footy to our gns3 open your browser and search here solar footy and here from here you, you need to click on the first link and download the solar footy from their official website so I already created my account and downloaded the solar footy so if I so if I open my uh, download folder so let's see my yes so here you can see solar winds solar footy I have downloaded but again if you can download from there uh, I'm giving you a link uh, to my google drive so here you can download these three uh, files the gns3 the cisco router iso images file and solar winds footy so i will double click on it and extract to my down uh, extract to my desktop and click ok you can see our solar footy uh, so you need to click on more info and run anyway and yes our solar 40 has been working and this file this uh, I will select it and copy it control C and open the C drive and enter the and find the GNS3 here as you can see the GNS3 and yes this is the right path and I and control V uh, so uh, you need to paste here continue so as you can see our solar footy has been copied here in this file 
uh, I need to close it and now after copying the solar putty uh, I will open my uh, GNS3 and close this project so open double click on GNS3 and from here uh, click on project library so I didn't see any my project so open for recent I will click on recent project and select the test to and click on ok so as you can see my previous project and, uh, and now if I go to edit and click on preferences and here if I click on console appliances and scroll down and restore defaults and click apply and uh, here you can see uh, the solar footy dot exe so it has been detected and click on ok and now here you can see you need to start your routers and click on the first router r1 so here you can see our solar putty has been integrated successfully with GNS3 and uh, if I click on the second router yes so here as you can see my uh, second router is also in the straight up running so here as you can see and the solar putty has been successfully integrated and it is properly working also my gns3 and router that is for today uh, so if, if you find my video helpful please subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up and see you in the next video